welcome to the show. It is January 25th, uh, 2022. Let me start off by saying that I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This information is intended for entertainment and, and educational purposes only. Today we'll be talking about some strange correlations I happen to have, uh, have noticed. So before we start the show, let's. Uh, I want to give a quick shout out to Roller Pigeons. She's got a new video out. She talks about the oil co spin out, possible cash dividends, multiple dividends even possibly, and the reasons for these. You know, for the complex spin out, uh, it could be related to, to IRS Rule three fifty five for tax free spin offs. Um, check out our video. Its uh, links will be provided. It's a really good video. Okay. So let's have a look at metamaterial stock. This is what Metamaterials has been doing, M stock symbol MMAT, since uh, since the start of January. Right? And if we overlay uh, AMC stock, we see that it looks almost identical. Right? In mathematics, we say that um, that uh, Metamaterials is hi highly correlated with AMC. Okay. Basically, it means they move together. They move in a similar way. They they have the same you know, when they move up, they move up but about the same amount. When they move down, they move down about the same amount. Uh, it's uh, it's a uh, it's very it's very unique to have two uh, two charts that are highly correlated. It's hard hard for it to happen. Now I've added the GameStop, and if we look at GameStop, GameStop, GameStop is correlated to both of them, uh, both Metamaterials and uh, and AMC. However, if you look at GameStop and compare it to AMC, you see that it's it's strong it's much strongly correlated. The two lines are almost exactly the same, right? Uh, Metamaterials is close, but it's not as close to GameStop as AMC is. So AMC and GameStop are much more strongly correlated than Metamaterials, but but even Met but even still, Metamaterials is strongly correlated, right? They're all they all move in the same way and in the same directions. With the same magnitudes, it's uh, it's eerie to see. If we look in the last few days, we see that the st the stocks are nearly one on top of each other. At that point, they're they're like so close to each other, it's it's insane. Anyway, so I'm gonna zoom out in time and see how 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 long this correlation was. I'm zooming out all the way to August of last year. Again, if we look, uh, you know. At in January, and we go back even into the end of December, they're they're very strongly correlated uh, against each other. They all move in the same way. The correlation there's another strong correlation that occurs between uh, mid November to to mid to mid December, right? They're they're again very strongly correlated. They move in the same ways. Um, yeah, it's very uh, interesting to see to to note. If we look back earlier in time, uh, we see that GameStop and AMC are highly correlated around the October to November time frame, but Metamaterials is not. Metamaterials is doing its own thing. It's somewhere else. You, you would expect Metamaterials not to have anything to do with GameStop or AMC, right? And and that's what, you know, the, the stocks should move in different ways because they're in totally different industries, right? Metamaterials is uh, the next generation nanotech company. That makes materials based upon nano architectures and nano structures. GameStop is an is a retailer that's transitioning from brick and mortar to online. AMC owns movie theaters. I mean, the the three industries are so radically different from each other. It, they they should not be correlated at, at all. And that's the case if you look back around September time frame, right? September to September fifteenth. That you know we see that the, the the stocks move in totally different ways, right? And that that's what you'd, you'd expect in non-correlated uh, um, non-correlated patterns, right? But again, if we look a little bit back in time again, we see that at one point they they moved in the same way, and uh, yeah, we see very interesting correlations that happen over time. So, what's causing this strange linkage to MMAT, right? Why are they all? Why is, are these stocks moving in the same way, particularly in in the last, you know, in the last month and a half or so, right? Well, there's a theory being postulated, and I think uh, it makes a lot of sense uh, that um, ETFs which contain metamaterials, GameStop, and AMC, they're all being shorted. 
uh, and they're being shorted by um they're you know they're being shorted by the people who are shorting GameStop. The reason for the short is because um you know they have a problem with GameStop. They want to get rid of GameStop as a liability on their books. So they want the GameStop investors to sell at a cheap price. They want to drop the price down significantly and and buy the stock back from, you know, from the GameStop uh, investors. However, um because they're so underwater with their short position, um, they can't sh short GameStop directly. They have to short um, the ETFs that contain the GameStop, which means that they're shorting, you know, a whole bunch of other companies that, you know, that don't necessarily, that aren't necessarily even on their radar, right? So it's it's just uh, it's just an odd coincidence. Metamaterials is like collateral damage to them. So let's. Uh, Let's see how uh, Metamaterials compares to Bitcoin, because we know Bitcoin had some interesting uh, movement uh, in January as well, too. So if we look at, uh, at Metamaterials, uh, at, at one point at the start of the year, they looked very, the patterns looked very eerily similar, right? Metamaterials and Bitcoin moved in the same way almost at some point, and then they diverged. Right, and it, in fact, it looks right now like the metamaterials is even more volatile than Bitcoin, and we know that Bitcoin is what I would call a hyper volatile asset. You know, so uh, so another question comes up: How does GME? How does GameStop compare to Bitcoin? Because we know GameStop is correlated to metamaterials. You would think that it would also behave in a similar way, right? Here we took a chart of of uh, GameStop and a chart of Bitcoin. We see that they. They exhibit similar patterns, um, but again, the two look a bit different in certain ways, right? Uh, in fact, GameStop looks more volatile than you know than Bitcoin as well, too. So uh, at least as far as twenty twenty two is concerned. Um, again, we know that uh, that GameStop and Meta Meta Materials are highly correlated, so we expect the correlation and the non correlations to keep and to exist, right? So, uh, if we look at these two patterns for a little bit of time, you might be wondering, gee, there might be some similar similarities here, and it's it's kind of odd to see. Uh, so I was wondering, is there a causal causal relationship that I can identify? Right, causal means something happens before something else. Something causes another thing to happen. Right. Um, so let's look at, uh, at at some Bitcoin price drops and see what they look like. So if we look at the last Bitcoin price drop, we see that it, it was pretty steep. But we see it was uh, it happened just before a price drop in GameStop. So that's interesting. And the and the previous price drop, it looked as though that happened just before another price drop in GameStop. Interesting. And uh, the last price drop in GameStop, well. I mean, the last price drop in, in Bitcoin, again, it seems to happen before the price drop in, in GameStop. That's quite interesting there. So uh, one possible hypothesis is that uh, Bitcoin might be being shorted or might be being sold in order to fund shorting of GameStop, right? So the, the idea is that these, um, these short hedge funds, they might have already had some crypto, and then they decided to sell that asset to raise funds so that way they could attack uh, you know attack GameStop and attack AMC and 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 the hedge funds associated with it. So uh, that led me to, to another question, right? How does Metamaterials compare to Metamaterials Torchlight preferred shares? Uh do the two look the same? And they there's some correlation at the start, right? We see that 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 Torchlight Preferred Shares seems to move in a similar way at the start of the year. But then, there's no correlation after January 12th, is the way I look at it, right? It, it just looks to be two totally different stock patterns at that point. Uh, there is a, there is an interesting price drop here. So there is so, some similar patterns with, with the price drop which occurred here. But uh, it's hard to say what the, you know, if, if A is causing B or what's going on there, right? It's, it's a little bit... Uh, it's a little bit nebulous at that point. Uh, so one possible theory that a lot of people might say is, well, look, you're looking at the start of the year, and you know we've had 
you know, people talking about the Fed and the Fed funds rate and all that, you know, are, are all stocks doing this? Are all stocks moving in the same direction here? So let's let's just compare the, these two against the S&P 500 and see what it looks like, right? So if we look at the S&P 500, it looks totally different to me, at least. It, you know, there's there's maybe some slight similarities, but not not too much. It looks like an, a totally different animal there. It's it's not dropped 40% here. It's not it doesn't it seems much more stable is the way I look at it, right? So uh, so I'm saying there's no correlation here, or very little correlation, or low correlation. So what about oil, right? Maybe, you know, you would think that oil might have some tro some correlation to the MMTLP shares, right? Because it's supposed to be an oil and gas spin out, that kind of a thing. Well, oil's been going up since the start of the year. <laughs> oil's, oil's up plus 12.3%, and MMTLP is down, minus 17%. So the two seem to be going in different directions. They act differently. They look differently. They behave differently. So I'm saying there's no correlation here. It's a, it's a different, uh, it's a different beast altogether. So, uh, so these are my takeaways from looking at all these graphs. Maybe your eyes are tired from looking at them. Who knows? Anyway, uh, I'm saying that there's some strange matching price action occurring that should be obvious between Metamaterials, GameStop, and AMC. Right? That. You know, when patterns match, they match. It's just, it's it's odd. <laughs> it's very strange. Uh, so it's very likely that the same people who are shorting, M you know, same people who are shorting meta materials, they're likely to be the same people shorting GameStop and AMC. It's probably the same people. There's commonality there somewhere, right? Uh, the shorts may have shorted ETFs that contain meta materials in GameStop and AMC, right? That's that's another possibility. So. Uh, and uh, it, it looks like the price drops that were happening in Bitcoin, they happened before the price drops in, in GameStop consistently. So that leads to the question, is Bitcoin being sold in order to fund short attacks on GameStop, AMC, and MMAT? You know, what's going on there? Uh, there's no correlation to the S&P 500 or to the price oil. <laughs> so therefore, none of the regular indicators have any, have any meaning here, okay? So this can't be correlated to regular price action in the market. Um, that said, before I ended the video, I just wanted to say I, I made a, a chart of MMAT FTDs in late 2021. Um, the way I made this chart uh, can be described in a previous video. Links will be provided. You can just download data from the, from the uh, SEC website and uh, just process it, and then you can make this chart too. So this is what I'm saying that the Metamaterials uh, failure to deliver charts look like in 20, 2021, in late 2021, going back till uh, August 15th, uh, going back till October 15th or so. And if we look at the last big, huge uh, um, failure to, to deliver spike, we see that took place on, on 12-21. And uh, if we look forward 21 business days, you get to um, 121, 2022, which is, just happens to be uh, LEAP options expiry. LEAP stands for uh, Long-Term Equity Anticipation Securities. Basically, they're l options that last longer than one year. Okay. So we see 21 days later, uh, there was a price drop in... in uh, at, at leap options expiry and uh that uh, the, the the day previous to that there was a, a further price drop in you know what i'm calling the pre-leap expiry meltdown in price of mmat so uh so what does all this mean to me it uh, basically means meta materials looks like a bargain uh i i happen to have picked up some earlier uh, in the week around when the price was around a buck 58 or so or buck 59 um, and, uh, the price might go there again. You never know. It's hard to say, but, uh, right now it's a screaming bargain and it's very close to book value. That's, uh, that's it. That's the end of my, of my video. Let me end by concluding that, uh, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This information is intended for entertainment and educational purposes only. Um, with that said, um, goodbye.